It's very difficult to walk in the shoes of Galileo, but unfortunately that's the path that every new medical innovator must take. Certainly those of us in the field of anti-aging medicine or preventive medicine have uh, you know, felt the wrath of the establishment every time we've tried to innovate with something that's new. Energy medicine is in this exact path. And we're very happy to have a presentation by Dr. Oshman, who is talking about some rather innovative therapies in regard to electromedicine and uh, energy medicine. When I look back over the history of medicine, there are periods when things stay pretty much the same and then there are great breakthroughs. Um, the germ theory of disease, it's amazing to think that at the time of the Civil War, the physicians didn't know what infection was. And we've had vaccination, and we've had the discovery of the HIV virus, and we've had the development of trauma medicine. Milestones in the history of medicine, and I think another milestone is upon us. And it is the advent of energy medicine. For some people, energy medicine is an uncomfortable term. And it is often said that there's no scientific basis for energy medicine, and my life is about demonstrating that that's not true. And my prediction is that energy medicine will increasingly become a major aspect of anti-aging medicine. So what is energy medicine? First, what is energy? Nothing happens in nature without an energy exchange. Communication or acquisition of knowledge of any kind occurs only with an energy transfer. There are no exceptions. This is a rule of nature. Light can do the work of shifting the conformation of pigments in your eye so that you can see me. Gravity does the work of breaking your leg when you fall off your bicycle. Sound vibrates the little hair cells in your cochlea so that you can hear my voice. The hair cells in the olfactory epithelium pick up the vibrations of odor molecules so that you can smell. Heat can do the work of frying your eggs. The chemical energy from breakfast can operate your nerves and muscles. So energy is basic to everything we do. It's our whole experience of life, of the world around us and the world within us. So we can define energy medicine. It's the diagnostic and therapeutic use of energy. And these are ordinary energies, there's nothing mythical here. Heat, light, sound, gravity, pressure, vibration, electricity, magnetism, chemical energy, electromagnetism. The basic forces that surround and interpenetrate us. So energy medicine includes a whole range of hands-on methods, hands-off methods, uh, energy techniques, and devices. Um, the the hands-on methods range from acupuncture to zero balancing, uh, chiropractic, cranial sacral, osteopathy, and so on. So energy medicine involves energy of particular frequencies and intensities and wave shapes and other characteristics that stimulate the repair and regeneration of one or more tissues. So that's my definition. For silly reasons, we've left energetics out of our medicine. When we ignore energy, we miss 99% of reality. In fact, what can you comprehend about anything without energetics? When we leave energy out of our biomedicine, we miss a vast amount of our healing potential. And we've been wearing blinders. We've been using tunnel vision for 100 years. In the not so distant future, we will see energy medicine really coming mainstream. It's just starting right now. We're finding that energy medicine can be very effective for uh, a number of chronic disorders. Uh, this, this is subtle energy. It's energy that's safe uh, and we're finding now effective. So energy medicine is on its way to the mainstream of healthcare, and we think that it will be effective uh, for many uh, common problems that we all suffer from now. If you'd like to learn more about this new emerging field of medicine, energy medicine, uh, there are some excellent resources available online at www.worldhealth.net, the official website of the American Academy of Anti-Aging Medicine.